Hey everybody, just want to give a reminder that the ballroom will be closed this Tuesday night, but we'll be back for a two-night special event, October 7th and 8th. Come check us out at Soul Train Night on Monday, and it's Hair Metal Night on Tuesday. It's going to be wild! I think so. I think it's going to be wild. Yes, it'll be great. Alfonso Lincoln Ribeiro was born on September 21st, 1971, in the vibrant Riverdale neighborhood of the Bronx, New York City. Growing up in a family with deep Trinidadian roots, Alfonso's path seemed destined to intertwine with music and performance. His grandfather, Albert Ribeiro, was a well-known Calypsonian who performed under the stage name Lord Hummingbird. His aunt had also danced her way into the hearts of many as part of the cast of the iconic show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. With this artistic lineage, it's no surprise that Alfonso caught the performance bug at an early age. His first big break came when he was just eight years old, starring in the Broadway musical The Tap Dance Kid. The young star's performance garnered him rave reviews and a nomination for the Outer Critics Circle Award. From the outset, it was clear that Alfonso Ribeiro had the talent and drive to make a name for himself in the entertainment industry. Alfonso's reputation as a dancer quickly grew when he appeared in a Pepsi commercial alongside the legendary Michael Jackson in 1984. Though a rumor spread that he had died after snapping his neck during the shoot, this only added to his mystique and fame. Around this time, he also released a dance instruction book called Alfonso's Breakin' and Poppin' Book and a single titled Dance Baby. With his foot firmly planted in the entertainment industry, Alfonso Ribeiro was a star on the rise. In 1990, Alfonso Ribeiro landed the role that would forever etch his name in pop culture history. Carlton Banks on the hit NBC sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Starring alongside Will Smith, Alfonso's portrayal of the lovable, uptight, and preppy Carlton Banks won the hearts of millions. But what truly set Carlton apart was his signature dance routine to Tom Jones, It's Not Unusual, known simply as The Carlton. Alfonso based The Carlton on a blend of Eddie Murphy's satirical White Man Dance and Courtney Cox's moves from Bruce Springsteen's Dancing in the Dark video. Little did he know that this dance would become iconic, sparking countless imitations and earning a permanent place in pop culture. The Carlton was more than just a dance. It was a moment that transcended the screen, embodying a sense of joy and spontaneity that fans of the show couldn't get enough of. Alfonso's willingness to embrace this character's quirks made Carlton Banks a household name and cemented his status as a beloved figure in television history. After The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air ended in 1996, Alfonso Ribeiro continued to evolve his career. He starred alongside LL Cool J in the sitcom In the House and attended the New York Film Academy to polish his skills as a director. He also ventured into the realm of game shows, hosting Catch-21 on GSN and Spellmageddon on ABC Family. His charm and humor translated seamlessly to these hosting roles, where he continued to connect with audiences in new and engaging ways. Alfonso's talents were not limited to hosting and acting. In 2014, he joined the cast of Dancing with the Stars for its 19th season. Teaming up with professional dancer Whitney Carson, the duo delivered one memorable performance after another, captivating the judges and audience alike. Their hard work paid off when they were crowned the winners of that season, further showcasing Alfonso's versatility and passion for dance. His success on Dancing with the Stars opened even more doors, eventually leading to his role as co-host of the show alongside Tyra Banks for season 31. In 2023, he took over as the main host, with Julian Hoff stepping in as his co-host. Alfonso Ribeiro's career trajectory has been nothing short of extraordinary. After taking on hosting duties for America's Funniest Home Videos in 2015, succeeding Tom Bergeron, Alfonso became the face of one of the longest-running family-friendly TV shows. His natural charisma and comedic timing made him a perfect fit for the role, and he quickly became a favorite among fans. In addition to hosting game shows and reality TV, Alfonso also made appearances in various British television programs. He served as a guest judge on Strictly Come Dancing and hosted the game show Money Tree. His dynamic presence and experience in the world of dance made him a sought-after personality in both the US and the UK. Alfonso's dedication to his craft extended beyond television screens and game show stages. In 2019, he launched the 90s with Alfonso Ribeiro, a syndicated radio show celebrating 1990s music and culture. Co-hosted with radio veteran Dina D. Cape Kramer, the show allowed Alfonso to share his love for the era that made him a household name, 
bringing back nostalgia for those who grew up in that transformative decade. Away from the limelight, Alfonso Ribeiro's life has been just as eventful. He married Robin Stapler in 2002, and the couple welcomed a daughter later that year. Although they divorced in 2006, Alfonso found love again with Angela Uncritch, whom he married in 2012. Together, they have three children, and the family resides in Los Angeles. Alfonso's passion for competition extends to the world of motorsports. He has competed in the Toyota Pro slash Celebrity Race in Long Beach, winning the Celebrity Class several times, and even taking home the overall victory in 2015. His love for racing didn't stop there. He's also been involved as a radio spotter and has even sung the national anthem at major racing events. Alfonso's most iconic contribution to pop culture, the Carlton, faced an unexpected challenge when Epic Games used the dance in their popular video game Fortnite. In 2018, Alfonso joined other celebrities in a lawsuit against the company for using their signature moves without permission. The legal battle raised questions about intellectual property rights in the digital age, although the U.S. Copyright Office ruled that his dance was not eligible for copyright protection. Despite dropping the lawsuit, Alfonso's fight highlighted the broader issue of creators' rights in the gaming industry. Alfonso Ribeiro's journey from child performer to television icon is a testament to his versatility, talent, and resilience. Whether he's making audiences laugh as Carlton Banks, dazzling viewers on the dance floor, or keeping families entertained with funny home videos, Alfonso's passion for entertaining has remained at the heart of everything he does. He has proven that his career is more than just a string of roles. It's a celebration of his love for performance, dance, and making people smile. As he continues to host shows, inspire dancers, and embrace new challenges, Alfonso Ribeiro remains a beloved figure in the entertainment world. His story is not just one of talent but of enduring relevance, a shining example of what it means to adapt, grow, and stay true to one's passion. With every step he takes, whether on stage, screen, or dance floor, Alfonso Ribeiro dances not just to entertain but to inspire, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of fans across generations. In conclusion, Ribeiro has an estimated net worth of about $4 million, which he has emerged from his career, endorsements, and other business ventures. And with that, thanks for watching Share with Friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.